Hello, it's me, Will, and joining me right now is Ian. Hi, everybody. Yay. I'm going to turn Ian up a little bit, because I'm probably... Just, like, very happy that I didn't interrupt you? Was that yeah, what I, I, was, I was going to introduce you immediately, because you don't do that interrupting thing that annoys me so much. Guess well, what? To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. To be fair. The last couple times you have talked to me like I should peep up. That's not true. Anyways, we're going to play some Mario Maker because I haven't played it in a while and I like embarrassing myself. So we're going to play Mario Maker. I'm going to switch over to this. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is do this and do this. Oh, you stupid. I'm a, I'm a stupid person. Do that. Hey, look, transistor. Hey, I can see it. Ian can see it. I can see it. I see people in chat. What's up, Zach the Gamer and Stella76 and Karen? Uh, great to see you. I, I wanted to start this from the beginning just in case I did the cool uh, Legend of Zelda thing, but it didn't. So. Did it? Didn't do it? No. no, it didn't do it. It was cool the first time it ever happened. Uh, let's play. Let's play. Uh, of course, world. it's been so long since I've played this. Hashtag let's play. Uh, not. Okay, first one going, buddy? by Stello. It's been good. I played a bunch of um, Dead Rising 3 this morning, and some random person just joined my game, and we had fun. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I did this morning. That game is so much fun. It's so much fun. Dead Rising 3? Yeah. I got to level 50, like, within the first three chapters from a glitch I saw, and then it was really good. Because you're just super powerful. Should I play it? Yeah. It's uh, cool. I, I bought it physically if you want to borrow it after me. Wait. It's online co-op, right? It's online co-op. Why don't we play that for a stream sometime? Hi, oh, Xander. do that for a stream sometime. I'm adding your level right now. Uh, coming back with a vengeance by Stella76. More crazy, more wild, and more obstacles. This ain't for the faint of heart. Gonna hit play. Gonna start the old timer there. Which has not appeared. Oh, no. Oh, I immediately died. I'm also not paying attention. Because I'm trying to figure out why the timer's not timer that's not a game pass game dead rising 3 no 4 is but i think 4 has co-op as well maybe we uh, should play maybe. 4 dead rising 3 was was it a launch title for xbox one or very close to launch uh, it was close to launch i believe text countdown text should be working i want to yes yeah, save these changes. Okay, let's see what Dead Rising 4, what the, uh... We're going to play a little bit of a Dead Rising 4. Guess what the Metacritic score is. What is the Metacritic score? 72. That's pretty That's not good. Bad. I'm going to look uh, up. Ian, why won't the timer work? Is your timer pointed to the correct text file? that your timer is then dumping to. Yeah, but uh, what I think is maybe the timer's not dumping to. Well, you can check the text file because all the timer does is it updates a text file. So check the text file to see if it's updating. And then you can make sure it's pointing at the correct, make sure OBS is pointing at the correct text file. Yeah, the text file is, text file is just saying next. <laughs> okay, well, that sounds like it's, let me open it up on my end, see if I'm remembering how it's set up properly. Yeah, that's my main question. How is it? It's countdown, remember. and then there is a folder inside of it called text, and inside that is called countdown.txt. Yep, and then when you open countdown.txt, it just says next exclamation point. Uh, well, do you have the timer running? I do have the timer running. We'll just try closing the timer, reopening it.
Mine is working. Zero, four, ten. Next. Start. Oh, now it's working. That's weird. Maybe it's because I... Yeah. Maybe it's just open for so long. I opened it after OBS and everything. Anyways, now officially starting. Um, here we go. I died already. So sorry about that. I think I gotta not die. Come on. Oh, all right. Pretty... I'm looking up Dead Rising Four on Co Optimus. Do you know about this website? Uh, I I think I've heard of it before. Uh, enlighten me though. Co-Optimus is basically a video game website that is focused on co-op gameplay. So all their news stories, et cetera, their reviews, et cetera. But they do a fantastic job of like, if you want to see co-op game, it's not necessarily cataloging because most of it's still in the reviews, but you just go to the game and they give it a score and they give it a co-op score and they tell you like, hey, these are the modes. It's online co-op. It's couch co-op. It's two players. It's four players. And it's, it's great for moments like this where you're like, okay, Dead Rising 4, does it have co-op? How good is it? Oh, you stupid man. So let's see what we got. Check what uh, three score is as well. Does not have local co-op. It has online co-op. Um, the co-op experience is a co-op campaign mode. It is separate from the story wow. mode. Oh, that's cool. It's a different number of episodes. That's uh, four. That's four. Let me check three. Nope. Oh. Forgot to let go. Oh, it's dead. Oh, Dead Rising 4 is Game Pass on PC and console. Oh. It's not a play anywhere, though, right? I don't believe so. Well, no, you're not, you're not asking if it's play anywhere. You're asking if it's cross-platform multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... No. But I think only the play anywhere titles are... No, that's not true because Rock, Rocket League is not. Oh yeah, Rocket League and yeah. Destiny. They should come up with a name for that. I mean, they have crossplay, but Xbox Play Anywhere is like a very good name for that feature. You know, so they need to come up with a good name for cross-platform support. Oh, I can't. Did not get the jump right. Folks in the chat, we are accepting levels. As you can see, we've got one upcoming level. Uh, we do four minutes per level. Let me make sure. We're just going to play them in order. So on. if you want to see your level play, just throw it in the chat, the level code. We'll add it to the list and we'll play it. Yeah, throw it in chat. Dead I'm Rising 3 co-op is two that. players. All progress is saved. I'd rather play Dead Rising 4, though. Yeah. I just heard it's not as good. It could be, yeah. I just Dead I'm not Rising crazy. Four about... has the good golf. Though. I'm just not crazy about joining in when you're super high level. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, the game's a blast. I think I'm almost done. Oh. 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 No, I made it so far. Okay, next. I like. Oh, I already hitting the B buttons today. Exit course. Hey, do you know about, uh, you ever heard of AC Moore? AC Moore? Yeah, I love AC Moore. I hit it. Uh, so apparently they're all going out of business. They're going out of business? Yeah, which is funny because we have one that, it's like six minutes from our place. 
Mm -hmm. But it opened up literally, I think it opened up two or three weeks before they announced all of them are going out of business. Nice. <laughs> but I went there today because all their stuff is like 40% off and I got some good, I got some uh, clear coat for models. I got some paint brushes for model painting. I think that's mostly it. Oh, I got, a, I got some leather Pickett. stuff, leather needles. Did I tell you I got into leather leather working? Yeah, you told me you were looking in. Or maybe you told me you were looking into it. I don't know if you actually got into it when we last spoke. I did. So back before Thanksgiving, I like a week before Thanksgiving, I made a wallet. Ooh. And it actually turned out really good. It's it has some issues. I think I'm gonna remake it <coughs> or make a new one, mm -hmm. slightly different size, because this one the leather is a little bit too thick, so it's too stiff. So it's hard to put cash in and out, and it's clearly made for dollar bills. So like euros wouldn't work in it, which is annoying because I do travel. So I think I'm gonna make one that's slightly larger, but it mm. was actually, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm glad now that I have that as part of my skill set. Yeah, I've always you wanted to- You didn't start to... the timer. No, I didn't. I even brought it out to start too. It's really not that bad. It's just the tools. Oh, oh. Oh, I can't. Oh, there's no more keys. It's the last one. Oh, dang it, Twitter. Did that thing where it shows you a tweet and then immediately, like, refreshes. Did it. Oh, you actually beat it? Yeah, it literally was a door that dropped you onto it. All right, folks, hey. we're looking for levels. I got the world record. Um, if you want to um i'll just, just find some good stuff yeah but let's pause for a second before you actually play a level so i can type in the code real quick so at least people know what we're playing oh gotcha oh i've cleared 100 courses so just let me know when you found a level and i'll throw in the info uh let's do grinder x speed run Thanks for the follow there, Red Folk 28997. And that gift's really good. Um, you know, let's do this one. Want to type in that okay. code? Yep. Okay, we're good. Boom. The Lost Castle of King Koopa. If you guys have any levels you'd like us to play, just uh, yes, throw us the please. code. Throw it in chat and we'll play it. You want to reset the timer? Uh, I was just going to let it go until we got a level. Like how we just got a level. So I'll just play till the end of this timer. Thanks for the level, Mellow. It's on the list. We'll be playing it next. Thank you, Mellow. Mellow. Hey, thanks for the sub. I was going to say follow, and then I didn't. That's sub. You know what we should do? What? I think lag would be an issue, but we should make it so those sub notifications for super mario maker only show up over the game for whoever is playing i mean it's showing up over my game right now oh oh that's right because you you're yeah you're playing off the feed yeah okay i was gonna comment on it earlier because it's really annoying <laughs> but it's basically just because you don't have an extra monitor yeah no it's because i'm playing on the well, no, but see, when when I have an extra monitor, what I do is the feed that I show you is on a monitor that I'm not playing off of, and then I have the game itself full screen on my main monitor. 
Uh oh. I mean, I could do that too. I could just throw it on my other thing, but. I get Thanks for the level, Xander. Throwing it up there right now. So I'm curious, folks, it's Sunday. Um, no. I'm having a lazy Sunday. Will's having a lazy Sunday. What are you guys in the chat? What are you guys doing on your lazy Sunday? I'm curious if any of you are playing video games while you're playing right now, because it's kind of like a dead spot between new releases. The only new release we've had recently is uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Feels like a backlog month in a way. Oh, pretty well. One's knocking at my door. Down into the castle now. Uh, wanna die? Go below. No. Oh. Amazon came all the way up here? Oh, it's for me? Where did I order off Amazon? Oh. I have no idea. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! What you eating there, Ian? Apple? Got an apple. I heard the distinct crunch. I'm trying to be nice and stay away from the microphone, but I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working either. I was doing that yesterday, and I, I think it worked to some extent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it worked really well. Oh. That sounds like a good apple, though. Um, well, let's play a little guessing game. I want you to guess what my, <laughs> what my current crafting project is. What your current... Uh, are you making foam core well, inserts for a board game? Okay, very, very close. I'll give you... We're going to play Password, so I'll give you... Uh, I'll give you clues. 3D. Are you 3D printing stuff for Formula Subpixel? <sighs> very close, very close. I'll give you another password. Twilight. Are you 3D printing stands for Twilight Imperium? <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. I'm, I'm going to print the stands eventually. I'm also printing uh, the insert. Somebody made a full insert that works pretty well. I think oh. it's going to take me at least 100 hours of printing. Oh, I died. Yeah, Xander, uh, feel free to submit levels that are not yours. We'll add them to the list. If you don't know what this pack... I have, we've had a package show up at my house. You want to open it up on cam? Karen doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is either. Open it did up I, on camera. Did I order something? Is, is it addressed to you? It's addressed to uh, William K. Crosby. Is the address right? Uh, yeah. But usually in my family, we change the middle letter if it's for someone else. But I don't know who would have sent something to well, me. What What is yours? William J. Crosby? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, really, what is it? <laughs> it's William H. Crosby. You know, H is kind of close to K in a way. You could have fat fingered it. Uh, I'm gonna, Karen, message my family. No, open it up live I on stream. I don't want to open it up. But no, just no, look no. at it a split second before you show it to the camera. To make sure it's not like a marital aid or something. What'd you say? She said it could be a birthday gift, but her birthday's not for three more months. Will, this could, this is a fantastic opportunity. I think you have to open it up. Okay, let me open it. I'll see what it is. I want I some guesses in the it. chat. What do you think is in this mystery Amazon package? Oh, I just tore it in half. No, My mom bought me an umbrella. <laughs> Why? I'm so confused. That's pretty funny. She must have sent it to my address, but didn't change it 
for the other thing. But it says, hope it survives NJ wins from Mama. How did she... I'm so confused. I, Ian wants me to open it up on stream, though, so I gotta open up this umbrella. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, hey, you wanna look at the umbrella? How did she know my umbrella broke? Did they tell her? She, my mother has given me two umbrellas since I have moved to New Jersey. You know, I think I got the same thing from my father, but it's, he gave me, I got his old car in, after I graduated college so he could buy a new car, and he left two umbrellas in it. So. Yeah, I, um, when I first moved here, she gave me an umbrella. That one broke, and then I bought another one. I left that one on the train. Then I bought a mm -hmm. $7 one at 7-Eleven. Yeah, she, my, uh, she, my, meh. Karen, Shima. that's the one I left on the train, Karen. That's the one you got me. And then Shima. Uh, Shima. I bought a $7 one, which broke. I still have it. I duct taped it. And now this is my next umbrella. I was thinking of buying Shima. an umbrella, too. How so weird. I'm going to call my mother. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, this is now an umbrella stream. Umbrella stream. <laughs> Should we do the first opening on stream? Yeah. I hope you, like, immediately die. <laughs> My mom just somebody. texted me, sent something for William. Okay, <gasps> here we go. Ready? Uh. Uh. Oh, I was really hoping that was going to, like, slam into your monitor. <laughs> it's huge. It's ginormous. Uh. Okay, here we go. It's time for Umbrella Stream. 2016. Okay. Let me type in this code. No! You know what I keep doing, Ian? I keep hitting A, where, and that's where B is supposed to be. Because Nintendo... Doo, 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 okay. This doo, is doo, getting caught doo, in doo, my doo, doo, lack of hair. Doo, 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 my assistant doo, doo, here, Karen's going to close that doo, up for me. Doo, doo, Give her a hand, everybody. Yay! She closed it up. Oh, you just got to hit the button to close it. Hi, Piachi. Um, Xander, yes, you can submit levels that are not your own. We'll just add them to the list. Okay. I'm finally typing in the level. 1LL. Why did she send me an umbrella? Oh, Melo says his is fun and easy. So, Will, no pressure, but you should be able to finish this. <laughs> no pressure. Horse not found. What did I, did I type it wrong? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me check. One L L D J H V one H. One L L D J H. D J F. He said he corrected it. Oh, D J F. Gotcha. I'll correct it on the stream as well. D J F. D J F. Bum 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 bum. Horse. What am I doing? D. Oh, DJF. I'm an idiot. That's me. That's on me, everybody. Hi. Hi, my name's DJF. You're, you're trying to, like, half, half figure it out. Super Spike World Haunted House. You will never want to see a spike again. Hey, my name's... My name's hey, Super I'm Spike gonna... World. Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, you're gonna do laundry? Have fun. Bye! Hi, Victor. Hi, Patchy. Hi, Victor. I'm adding your levels to the list as we speak. This isn't fun. This is me having to do precise jumps. Patchy, I need to know if it's Patchy or Piachi. Oh, do I have to do the thing where you grab it and then you jump? I kind of want it to I be Piachi, to be honest with you. Okay, folks, here's the order right now. Next up, we've got Xander's level. Then after that, it's Piachi. And after that, it's going to be Victor. Ian, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I can't I can't do these levels. I'm not intelligent. Well, first of all, you should start the timer so that you at least have an endpoint. No, you're always... Patchy. Oh, I'm an idiot. Thank you. There's a reason there's a large Z there. Because you have to spin jump. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I forget. And, 
Oh boy. Do you know how long it's been since <laughs> I played this? We played it yesterday for a couple hours on stream. <laughs> what are you? What? <laughs> oh, no, I was hitting it. Man, okay, I, had, so I gotta I had run. A... Z. Uh -huh. I had a lot of fun on stream yesterday. I'm excited to do some more racing tonight. It's good stuff. Stupid, stupid, stupid boy. Hello. My name's Stupid. Stupid, stupid boy. He went the wrong way! Sorry, everybody. Ugh. Guessing I'm not waiting for those then. You're feeding my clear rate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, that's a good thing because then it says. What? What are you doing wrong here? I so I have to hit him, so he. Well, you can't see my hand, but so he bounces to the next area. But I also have to Z over to get over and land and keep landing. Are you? I, okay. See, I'm just hitting. That I think spike. Yeah, but I think. Isn't it if you hold it, you go higher? And then I also think you're going too right on the jump. Like you're angling into it. No, I think you gotta go yeah, up yeah, and then I'm over. Just... No. This is fantastic. Oh, oh I made one. I made one. I made one. This is all this is going to be. I was afraid when we first started that it was the one where you're going to grab it and keep jumping off yourself. Oh! 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 Gosh darn it. Oh, I can see the end, too. Oh, you stupid idiot. You went the wrong way. Mello, this is a good one. You went the wrong way! Uh. Oh. So close. Far away. At least the song never gets old. I, I'm going too far right there. That's my issue. Oh. oh. Dumb. Hey, you're doing a great job, buddy. Thanks. Wrong way. Good news is Patchy says his level is easy. Yay! So you may have a shot. Mello said his was easy. Oh. What? I'm hitting it too far on the side. 13 more seconds hey, of this. You're doing great jobs there. You almost made it. Oh, I am. I actually wasn't paying attention. I'm surprised you made it past that first obstacle. I made it past two of them. But then I died. Okay, next level. All you know, right, I, Xander. I think I could do this if I spent like an hour on it. Oh, you should like his level. You liked it? Yeah, I Good liked job. it. Uh, and Patchy, when you get to his level, would like you to read the description. Yes, sir. Or in, I'm assuming that's a zero, since there is no O. Yes, it was. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, fantastic. This can be done in four seconds, so that's good. Sorry, I'm just... Oh, adjusting my chair. Hello, Kemovara. Boro. Kemovara. Boro. Hello, Kemovara. Yeah, I'll take another seltzer. 
Sorry, I was making Karen repeat herself because it's funny. <laughs> Pretend, I don't know. Not funny, actually. <laughs> Classic Will. Classic me. Vlasic. Women, right? Vlasic. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be right back. Hey, Will, start the timer, buddy. Thanks. Uh, oh, it totally is parsec, because whenever you move the mouse, it steals my mouse. Oh, I won. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, I'll take raspberry lime. Thanks, babe. Chop, babe. Oh, there's no alcohol in this. Joke. I mean, there is no alcohol in it. But it was a joke that I wanted there to be alcohol in it. My phone's blown up, folks. I believe I got a new umbrella. I'm so excited. Okay. 21... C, three, D. Ian said he was going somewhere. I assume doesn't really pay. Boom boom underwater. Lot of boom booms underwater, and in the forest fire fires will be all over. Huh. Okay. Good to know. My phone! Mother! Thank you for the umbrella. Play. Oh, I don't have time to take a sip. Boom, boom, underwater. Oh, I don't like non 2D. I mean, this is 2D. Whoa, he just comes at you like a like a gun. I am spe spectacularly bad. He's dead. I'll make sure Ian adds the level. Both uh, Xander and I, I don't have enough time to read you. <laughs> oh no. No. I like the background. Yep's cool. Look out here. I'm Whee! Hi everybody, I'm back. There's two uh, levels. I got him. So yeah, Kimavaro. And then Xander, I'm just gonna put your next level at the bottom of the list just so that we get a little bit of breathing room for some other people. But we'll get to it. Just chasing me. See what's in the door. I heard that, Karen. The big burp. This looks like a fun level. Yeah, it's not bad. I also bought, for Twilight Imperium, I bought Fleet Stance. Clear Fleet Stance. I saw that. Or I saw you mention that. 
I'm excited to play four. I was looking, they have that like deluxe rule book you can buy. Yeah. That's like 50 bucks. And but I feel pretty good because was... um, the fleet stands on Amazon, like the pre-made ones are, the cheapest are like almost $3 each. But there's somebody on Etsy who makes the the hex, the clear hexes, and then I got the feet from somebody else. So I basically got 24 for only $2 each. Dead. I was looking at some of the changes for four and it's, it's great. Like there's one of the strategy cards is now construction and that's how Ooh. you build space docks and PDS. Oh, I like that. How did you snag a copy? Did they just go up on Amazon quick? Uh, camel, camel, camel. Oh, alerted you? Weird. It they alerted didn't... me. Maybe I have a different skew because they didn't alert me. Well, I think I did it when the price was like 150 or something. And I said, if it drops, I think I said, if it drops below 150, no Great level. Me. I knew, so it, it did go in stock. I think I told you it was in stock on the Fantasy Flight website for 150. Gotcha. And then the next day, I think it's Fantasy Flight through Amazon, or at least an affiliate of them, put it up for 120, 129. J, G, J. Sorry, I just moved it, but. No worries. Oh, excuse me. Nine coins, nine levels. Play. Start timer. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I'm also going to get those uh, player aids laminated. Hi, Sanic to Speed. Thanks for joining. I'm adding your level to the list right now. Oh, dead. oh, how does one get through these clouds? I just have to do a light jump. Oh, do I have to do the. Yeah. Don't you. Was it a long jump? Yeah. I gotta practice that. It's this game. It's this, uh, whatever it is called that I like have trouble with. <laughs> gotta be moving. Ha! If you're not moving, he just jumps up. Oh, too much jump. Can I get to that point? Yeah, I can. This is cruel. Now what? Oh, do I have to... Oh, this is so not good. Oh. Mm. <coughs> Mother rapper. Mother poop. Stupid. I love this game. Hey, you're doing a great job, buddy. You're not going to make it, but you should at least feel good about your failure. Thanks. Okay, what do you think? Do you think I do? I bet. 
Can I jump up and around that? There's no way I can do that. Why don't you just... Oh, yeah, you... Well, can you come back and wall jump and then come back around? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't envy you at all. No, you don't. Oh. Stop. Sometimes, I mean, it's because I'm not walking far enough. Oh! Oh, hey, I saw, um, 1917. Oh, yeah, I saw your tweet. How was it? It was okay. I'm assuming it was just very pretty. It pretty much was. It was a lot of style over substance. Um, beacon. Yeah, it, it's... Yeah, definitely a lot of style over substance. It was okay. I mean, I... Uh, it was good. I, so I saw it because every year, I don't know if there may be one year where I've actually been able to do this. Every year I try and watch all the best picture nominees before the Oscars. Just kind of as like a catch up in a way. Yeah. And so, I, so I went to see 1917 after it was nominated. I'm not really sure it should be a best picture nominee. It's still good. It's just not incredibly oh, amazing like everybody's saying it is. Not everybody, but... <clears throat> And I finished uh, season four of The Expanse. Rather disappointing. I think it may be its worst season. Really? I need to yeah, start that show. The last like four or five episodes, oh, and again, the season is only like 10 episodes. It just feels like a lot of manufactured tension. Where they're just like adding a lot of stuff on top. Uh, this not working? No. Let me look this up. Day four. 3-1-M, 5-Q-F, 1-J-4. Oh, I'm sorry, 5-Q-4, 1-J-4. Oh, 5-Q-4? Okay, yeah, that's not working. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm just going to uh, dump in his second code then. So Xander, that 3-1-M, if you want to resubmit that. That's all right. Just type it in uh, correct here, and I'll add it to the bottom of the list. R Y. Uh, I'll be right back. Bye. Super Jump Seven. I think I've played this before. No, doesn't it show you if you. Look at that little boy. Little handsome Luigi. So handsome. Oh, uh, yep. I have played this. Oh. Uh, I don't know if it's this exact one or if it was a... Remember...
Woo! Hey, I did it. I didn't even start the timer either. Woo! Yeah, comments can be rough. Man, that level is very fun. I like those jumpers. Okay, who is next? Kimovaro. Kimovaro? Kimovaro. Thank you, Nightbot. Nine. Two. Hello, I'm back. Did you already beat that level already? Yeah, I can't believe you missed it. You it gave up, wanted... didn't you? No, it was one of those ones you had to jump through all the, uh, like, uh, razor blade things and everything. I really like those levels. I'm, I'm good at them. Uh, Xander, I'm adding the correct code now. Where's your tracker, man? Okay. Folks, we got two levels in the hopper, so if you want us to play your level, or any level that you like, just go ahead and throw it in the chat, and I'll add it to the list. Sorry for stepping away, I'm in uh, 3D printing that insert. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just had to get the next one started. What's the button to make boxes? Not that one. Yeah, so that, um, oh, you got to start the timer. Yeah, I know. So um, that, um... How do, you, how do you make the boxes? Do you, or do I have to break these ones? Uh, I'll look it up real quick. Oh, up and... Oh, I got it. Thank you, everyone. Got it. Um, so the, the Twilight Imperium 4 insert is... Every color, so you know there's six colors, each color has a little box to hold all their units. That box takes 10 hours to, to print. Sorry, nine hours. So I print six of those, nine hours each. And then each of the factions, I think there's 17 factions, gets their own little hex-shaped box, which has their tokens in it and stuff, their tokens and their cards. That is, that's only about four hours per box. So not terrible. Oh, no, sorry, I think that's six hours per box. So I have to print 17 of those for six hours. The hex holders, I think, are going to be 20 hours each, which is three of those. So that's another 60 hours of printing. Yeah, so it's 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 going to be a while before I have the insert done. <laughs> because the other thing is I, I only like to um, run the printer while I'm home, just as a safety precaution. Yeah. It's pretty good. And I've checked it, but there are instances of printers like mine and printers from other manufacturers set up like mine where if the solder goes wrong or a connector goes wrong, it will set itself on fire. Nice. Um, I probably should get people get like double A battery smoke detectors and they put it directly over it. I probably should do that for safety. I need to fix my 3D printer. Do you see this while holding a box, hold down and then let go of Y to drop the box near? You know what I mean? Just like a bomb. You hold it down and then let go. Oh, daddy like. Thank you. Um. So yeah, it's going to be a while, but it should be pretty nice when it's done. Oh, and then I also bought sleeves for the cards because I know we handled the cards a lot and it was only like, there's like 500 plus cards and it was only 20 bucks to get sleeves for all of them. Are they small is... again or are they bigger? They're all small, I believe. Oh, and then I'm printing out holders for the strategy cards so we can hold them vertical. So you can kind of see what everybody has. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Maggie didn't really like the last game, but I think I'm going to force her to play TI4. <laughs> I, think she, I think she wasn't really getting it until the end, which was like hour four, you yeah. know? <laughs> Like, if you don't really get it within the first hour or two, then you're just doing a lot of stuff and making mistakes so that it feels like you have no economy and no military.
Hey, great job, buddy. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, Xander, I'm adding your level right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Patchy. I missed your level. I'll add yours first. Oh, I didn't want Sorry if we're talking about board games a lot, folks, but uh, Will and I have recently gotten into, uh, Will, myself, and Karen have gotten into Twilight Imperium, which is a very complicated but very well-regarded board game. Um, it takes us, for three-player games, it takes us, what, about five hours? Uh, and then, um, yeah. So we, we've been playing an old version, and they recently restocked the new version, from two, three years ago. So I immediately bought a copy and it's a big game. It's got a lot of pieces. So I'm printing out inserts and accessories and stuff on my 3D printer. So the new Imperial card is, if I remember correctly, it is, you can, if you control Mechatol Rex, when you play this card, then you gain one victory point. <laughs> <laughs> no. You should just keep going. Oh, oh, I the timer went off. Or, yeah, but that was a good level. If I had patience. Um, and then the second part of the Imperial card is you can immediately complete one of your secret objectives if you qualify for it. Ooh. So you can basically, like, if you time it right with that card, you can immediately get, like, three... You can immediately get, like, what is it, three victory points because it's two victory points for each secret objective plus one for playing the card and controlling Mechatol Rex. Gotcha. That's pretty good. Yeah, you could. But at least it's not a guaranteed two points, you know? Yeah. But you could also grab that card. If somebody controls Mechatol Rex, you could grab that card instead of them to prevent them from gaining a victory Versus point. cops. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, we'll have to plan. It doesn't get here till the end of January, so maybe sometime in February you guys come down. Yeah, I'm down. Diggity down. I got oh, you know what? I'm turning 30 in February. Maybe you guys come down then. So old. Do you have... Oh, I was about to ask you if you have President's Day off. <laughs> Does Karen have President's Day off? Uh, I don't... As, if UPS has it off, she has it off. If UPS has it off? Yeah. It's a federal holiday. Oh, so basically if it's a federal holiday. Yeah, if it's a bank holiday. Did he not? Did he just... What? <gasps> it is. Monday, February 17th. What? Did he just jump? He just effed off. You forgot to start the uh, timer. I'll never remember. Um, yeah, I, I think maybe we should do that the weekend before my birthday. We'll do that. And then she should have Monday off. I'll probably take Monday off. So that way you guys can just leave late Sunday night. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have Monday off? No, but I have, uh, instead of giving it to us off, they made it a floating holiday, so it's like a, a holiday you can pick whenever in the year. Because if we all have it off, we can just play on Monday, too. Yeah, but do you want to be here? Oh, well, you, then you could then you could just drive up Saturday. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Let's do that, yeah, and then, I, I don't know, maybe, uh, yeah, let's do that. <gasps> then you know what we could do? Oh, this would be special. We could do D and D with my parents. Ooh. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. That was crazy. In person, in person D and D. Yeah, I'm down. I can run. Uh, uh, like yeah, if you don't mind running. Heist. Yeah. Or I can write quick, something quick. You know, like three-hour session. Let me check yeah. with the parentals because they may have a vacation planned or whatever. But we could do that that weekend. Which and do, which and do uh, TFU or inaugural. It's 15th, 16th, and 17th of February. Okay. Oh, I need to put it in the subpixel calendar, but I am away uh, the 25th to the 4th. Okay, one, one second, I'll put that in. Two Tuesdays in a... It, that's the dates, right, King? Uh, What is that? You said February? February or? 25th. 
25th through what? The 4th. Oh, where are you going? Uh, out to Utah to see Subpixel's favorite, Zach and Alexander. Ew. Oh, they both live out there? Yeah. Man. Am I supposed to get this? When are we doing a Subpixel goes to Utah? Whenever you want. You can fly in oh. the buggy or drive in the buggy. So, so that's three streams that you're missing? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. It's weird. It's like... I guess I can do whatever I want for those streams. Because Zach probably won't make it either. Well, mm. actually, I could join one remotely if I'm out there. Yeah, no. Day. Don't make me drop the F word. <laughs> who's who's Meowser99? That's what Zan Sa Sanic is asking. Are you Meowser99? You're asking me if I'm Meowser99? Hi, True Atraz. I'll add your level to the list right now. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. March 3rd there. is... I believe March 3rd is... Super Tuesday. He really comes yeah. at you. You know what Super Tuesday is? You just fly away? What's Super Tuesday? Super Tuesday is... Uh, I mean, I'd count them real quick. It's like a dozen primaries for the 2020 election. So, what theme would go well? It's Super Tuesday night. Oh, uh, I have that Santa... political simulator. <laughs> I, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about there's isn't there a democracy? Isn't there? I think so. Okay, I finally hit that switch because I'm an idiot. I, don't think I think there's a game that. where you you like run an election, isn't it? I have the that. I have the ballot simulator thing. Hey, I beat it. The political machine is what I'm thinking about. Oh, uh, gotcha. Oh wait, well, here we, we got go. more. You got more levels to add, or one more actually. Thanks, Bryson. Adding it right now. Hey, folks. Uh, just to give you a shout out, if you're enjoying this stream, you guys should go ahead and sub or follow or do whatever it is you do on which on your platform of choice, whether that's YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, or all three. Just give us a sub. Uh, your name will pop up on the stream. Just a nice little thank you. And we'll say thank you. We've got great content. One, Q, D. We've been streaming a lot lately. Uh, yesterday, we streamed two and a half hours of iRacing, which is a crazy, good, crazy, realistic racing simulator. Uh, Will's been streaming Dead Racing, Dead Rising 3. Oh, We've been streaming. Racing. What else have we been streaming? Dead Souls, uh, weird simulator games. Weird simu I was streaming Anachronox in my Will Will's Weird Games. It was very fun. Uh, oh, did I just yep. type the same thing in again? Oh, let me update it. Look different. 31M. Oh, this is the 5Q. On Tuesday, we're going to be playing Gaming for Nothing, which is uh, a series where we basically go through uh, free services. Well, not free services, but subscription game services like Game Pass, PlayStation oh, Now, really cool. Origin Access, EA Access. And uh, we play those. We pick a game at random from them, install it, and play it, and just see how it how it goes. Um, we're also going to be playing. Is Thursday Sim Pixels? Um, Thursday is. Sim you know what? Pixels. I'll look it up. We've got a lot of great content coming, folks. I'd highly recommend to follow. Just so whenever we pop on stream, you can take a looky loo, get notified, and see if we're playing something that strikes your fancy. What's I Thursday is Sim Pixels? But what's the one next Tuesday, the week after that? Next Tuesday is Tabletop RGB, where Will and I and possibly a guest are going to be playing a tabletop game using Tabletop Simulator. And after that is Fantasy Star Online, the next installment of Server Quest, where we go through the history of MMOs and try out each MMO, basically. I have to finish editing. Uh, what you calls it? I haven't even touched Superman 64. Uh, Asheron's Call. Yeah, I've been super lazy doing, like, working on stuff that, like, it's not as important. It's not, I'm not just uh, messing around. But I should probably get the Dwarf Fortress video done. Sanic is asking, are we going to be playing Smash Ultimate? Oh, I would play some. I was thinking about that the other day. 
I was like thinking about how you it. like seriously told me you were like I was playing against some like friends of mine and I think I'm actually like really good at Smash. I like am, I could probably win a tournament. I did never I would never you, have you said did. that. You said there's like a neighborhood tournament happening next week and I was thinking about entering. Oh, for there it. was a I it, in my it was a group of friends that I know were having a tournament. I'm just making fun of you because Smash is one of those games where there are a lot of people who think they are good, but it also has a very high skill ceiling. Oh, I agree. So the, the chance, like the, the the percentage of people who say they are good at Smash that are actually good at Smash is probably like 0.1%. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I'm... Let me ask I'm, you a question. What? I think this is, this is a good indicator, at least for my current skill level, whether somebody's good at Smash or not. Do you use the shield slash block button? Yes. Okay. How often do you use it? That was pretty good. Um, I mean, it depends on if I'm playing someone who's good or not. Like, relatively good. That's true. See, I'm at the level where I have to keep reminding myself that button exists. So I hit it maybe twice per match. Yeah. No, I'm not saying, like... I, I'm not I'm, very good. Yeah. I, I'm good enough where I consistently win in my friends. I'm thinking about... Well, uh, Smash Ultimate stream i am almost wondering if that stream should be we pit all we set up a very elaborate tournament bracket That'd be with cool. all of the characters in some sort of ranking and we pit them up against each other and we determine what is the best smash character based solely on ai versus ai that's pretty good that's not a bad idea yeah I like Smash. I've always just enjoyed playing Smash. I'm not saying I'm like any sort of prodigy at it. I'm, I can pick it up pretty easy. Same with Mario Kart. Like I, it's rare that I lose. I don't come in first, just because I know how to like rift and everything. And when you play with people who don't, we've never played. No, we haven't. All right, Kart. Hi, Lola would, Loud. Thanks for joining. I know I would come in first. But... Do you though? I'm pretty positive. So I, I played a lot of uh, Mario Kart 8 and 7. Um, and I started playing them online. But against like people who were actually good. Mm -hmm. And it, it upped my game, but it also showed me there's like a whole... There is some skill depth to that game. More than you would think. Yeah, totally. Um, it's all about getting coins, holding shells behind you. Um, all that sort of stuff. No, no, well, kind of. It's more about, like, people basically said the two items you should care about the most are, in this order, mushrooms and um, the horn. <laughs> because the mushrooms horn. let you take mushrooms let you take shortcuts. And horns stop the blue shell. Yeah. Horns stop the blue shell. Everything else, they're like, you can pretty much recover. Yeah, most of the time, I hold a green shell behind me. Unless I pick up a horn or uh, get something for a speed boost. So Sanic is asking if he can add you. Why don't you show him your maker code real quick? And oh, yeah. That way people can play your level. Um, look at my little cute little maker. Yeah, I'm not trying to bust your balls or anything, but it's just one of those things where people say they're good. And I'm like, you're probably good at our level, but there's like a whole oh, nother level on maker. top. I think... I think Go Maybe back, I, I think. Well, yeah, but that's just your course. Um, now go go Y, I think. That's where I just was. Oh, well then go to Maker on the right-hand side. I was there too. It just adjusts this stuff. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, Santa, he needs a friend on Switch. Uh, probably not. Yeah. Let's go with no. <laughs> I mean, no I don't offense, have any friends on there, keep... and I also don't check it. We got to keep ourselves a little private in a way. You know? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go back to courses. Yeah. When I when I had said that, it was just I knew the group of friends and had played with them, and then they were having a tournament. And I was like, none of those people. Oh. Like that was like a group oh. of friends getting drunk and playing Smash Bros and calling it a tournament. Bryson says, "Go in overview and click on your maker." Is that the only level you've uploaded, though? Yeah, that's the only level I've uploaded. So yeah, I maybe not. maybe we just show that level.
So there you go, folks. How many? What's Orange what's the play on that? No, go back because now people can't see the code. Yeah, just sit MXJ here for a while. MXJ zero K D K G F. Actually, I'm gonna go to the bathroom while people look at this code. BRB. Yeah, thanks for the info, Bryson, on how to show our maker ID. But this is the only course we've got going. So, um, so uh, while we'll go into the bathroom, I'll do our little pitch. We are Subpixel. We don't just stream. We also don't play only Super Mario Maker. We play a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have a YouTube channel that's kind of our main content source. Uh, you can get there easily by going to subpixelfilms.com, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can just click on our name or the channel button or however you want to get there. Uh, we've got a lot of good content. We do a lot of edited videos in addition to our streams. We've put up great ones recently, like Will had a, a smash hit video on Dwarf Fortress, how he's obsessed with the game, even though he's never played it. Um, that video has more than 60,000 views. Crazy popular video. Jake put up some recently on uh, a very popular cover cover art artist from the 70s and 80s. Um, we've got plenty of great stuff in the back catalog. I think we have more than 200 videos that we've posted in the last year and a half. We've been live. Uh, we've got a documentary on a, on a short 10, 15 minute documentary on an indie game maker who decided to, to leave the industry and make his own game. And, and then the composer he paired with to do the, uh, the music and the score. We've got documentaries coming out soon on Iceland. We went to Iceland for five days. Um, just a lot of good content you can find at subpixelfilms.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at subpixelteam. We greatly appreciate any follow. And, uh, you know, if you're just into our streams, that's fine, too. We like to stream at least twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern. But we've also been streaming a lot outside those hours lately. So thanks for watching. But we'll keep going. No, we're done. See ya. Nope, that's the wrong one. Do, 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 do. Mario versus Meowser Army. Have fun. Yeah, I, so, okay, so oh, let's I talk about this Smash. Let's talk about this Smash. Smash. Okay, what are the rules with Smash? I think items on, because I think it's funny when the AI uses items. Or no, no items. This has to be scientific. It's not a item. No items. Not Final auto. destination only. No items. Three stock. 1v1, right? 1v1. Is that how it goes? Uh, Final Destination. Is it Final Destination? What's it called? Is it, I think, isn't that? I can't remember. Uh, what's, we put them at CPU level nine. Nine's the max, right? Or does it go up to 10? I think it goes up to nine. Hey, I believe anybody, you can make this jump. I hate all jumping so much. It's like, I don't think I hate it because of how good it feels when you do it right. Yeah, when you do it right, but like, you gotta I, start the timer. I don't like it enough. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up. Okay. Smash ultimate <laughs> number of characters. Oh, wait, that's not right. This says 52. There's more characters than that, aren't there? There's 60... There's like 68 now, isn't there? 75. Violet is 75 on January 28th. Oh, you stupid. This level is like receiving a spoonful of diarrhea. Assuming I won't beat this level. Uh, what rhymes with mouse pavement? House payment. Figured it out. Hey, that's pretty good. Thanks. Oh no. No, I did it to myself again. True Atrocity says there's more legal stages than Final Destination. Yeah, I, I just meant do the, like, Omega... Is it Omega version of every level? Yeah, maybe it's Omega Random. I'm just trying to think scientific, right? Mm -hmm. I think if we're going to do it scientific, we have to pick a level. 
just in case. Okay, and then we have I have to find Oh, let's keep it PG-13 in the chat, folks. Yeah, what's this about balls? I had matzo ball soup the other night. So good. Oh, why did I jump? Why did I jump? Hey, Will? What? Why did you jump? I have no clue. Probably the biggest mistake I've made in my entire life. What? I wonder if there's a Wikipedia article for Smash characters. There's oh, yeah, there is. Oh! Oh! I should go immediately. Thank you, Kip, for a level. Thanks for the level. I'm adding it to the list. Oh, you stupid boy. I'm a stupid boy. Go this way. Uh. Oh boy. Uh. Hey, I did it. Hey, buddy, great what? job. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Great level. I like it. Okay, I'm doing some... People are playing my level. It really isn't that good. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of... Uh, trying to figure out... Trying to figure out. Speedrun test. Feedback, please. Start a new start of a new speedrun. <sighs> I like some speedrun. They're fun. They're very fun. Wow, this is. They okay, suck. guess how many how many matches it would take to determine. Uh, hundred and six thousand. No, it's only. S oh no! Wait, why is this not? Wait, <laughs> this isn't showing the full bracket. Oh, there we go. It would take eighty-one matches. Not bad. It's not bad because you're starting with seventy-five people. Some of them get buys. I think. Okay, so then the the other question is. Hi, hi, Rectu man. Hi, Xander. Um, Xander, I'm going to put your level at the bottom of the list. Oh. Just because we had a lot from you. Which is very appreciated. Just want to make sure everybody gets a shot. Darn it. There we go. Okay so, okay, so let me pitch this then. This is a scientific, measured way to determine the best Smash Brothers character. The only way to do this is to have the AI play every single match, CPU level 9. Yes. In a controlled fashion. Oh. It's three, I, I want to say three stocks, but I almost want to say, I think normally in tournament, isn't it best of... Is it best of three three stock games? Uh, so maybe, sure. maybe I should just make it a three. nine. 
Maybe I should just make it a nine stock game. You forgot yeah, the you timer. Didn't. I forgot the timer. Get extra time then. Forget the timer. Hmm. Sanic wants to 1v1 you on Smash. Yeah, it sounds like something I would just lose. So I don't know. I mean, you just talked about how good you are at the game. So I talked about how good I was <laughs> in my friend group. <laughs> You're the, literally um, the most annoying person. So it's a single match, nine stock, seeded tournament bracket to determine the winner. It will take 81 matches. Can't get up. How long do you think a nine stock match would take? Nine stock match? It's about, what would you say, one minute per stock? Oh, I know it. Let's say 10 minutes. So this is going to take 810 minutes, which is 10 hours. Not bad. I almost wish, like, like this is a project in a way. Like, it's a pretty big project that you would have, like, a website for and you would update. And I would totally do it, but I'm pretty sure nobody would care. Like, if we had a little bit of an audience where I could just run, like, a tweet thread for this, you know, I think it would be fun. Yeah. But I think right now it would be a lot of effort for... Oh. But at the same time, I kind of just want to do it myself, you know? I know I don't have all the coins. I'm seeing if I could get up there. <sighs> I got up there before. I don't know why it's so hard for me to act. And just dying. I'm going to look up Smash Ultimate Tournament Rules. Kill myself. Killed myself. Here we go. There we go. Evo rules. They do three stocks, seven minutes. Oh, smash, final smash, spirits off. I believe I missed that. Items off. Stage hazard, stage morph off. Amiibos are banned. Oh, gosh, I had all the coins. Okay, there's five approved stages. Starter stages, and then there's counter pick stages. So first stage is decided by rock, paper, scissors. The winner may choose to I'm either st strike down. a stage first or select a port first. Oh, they have a really weird stage selection. It's like, here's five stages. The first person gets to remove two stages from the list, and then the second person gets to pick from the remaining. Nope. You can't pick any stage you have previously won on. I think I'm just gonna... There's one, two, Oops. three, four. There's nine approved stages. I think I'm just gonna put all of them in random. So the match takes place on one of these nine stages in random. <laughs> and I'll just do a nine stock. So it is nine stock? Well, I think they do three stocks best out of three. But no, they do three stocks best out of three games. So I think it, to make it easier for me, I'm just going to do nine stocks. Oh, no. Oh, wait, calm down. Oh. Wait, nine stocks or six stocks? Yeah, I did it. Six stocks, right? Six. Yeah, because best of three means that you have... Oh, best of three taken... means two out of three. Yeah, which is six stocks. Yeah. Right, so I'll just it means do you win two game. of the three matches. Yeah, it's minimum of six stocks. Yeah. So I'll do I'll do six stocks then. Because you could, like you it. could, you could take, you could take, you could take six stocks and lose. Or you could take 
seven stocks and lose. D. Four. A. Okay, wait, let me think about this. You gonna update this while you're thinking about it? Yeah, I think six stocks. Because six stocks is the minimum you would need to defeat somebody else in a in a best of three situation. Um Okay. And it would just be running on a web page where I would just be regularly updating the bracket. I'm fixing. Hi Evie. Transition. There, all fixed. Okay. Mushroom Garden 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Don't forget Let's that see. timer. Old timer. I knew old I timer. Like once. This is a very involved idea, but at the same time, maybe we should do a test stream of Smash Ultimate and see how many people we get. I'm down. No, please. No, what am I doing in my life? Oh. Hey, you may be getting good at this. I don't think that's true at all. That was just a good Mario level. Next. Okay, let me update this. Xander, back in the hot seat. Man, Xander... Saying that over and over again just makes me want to watch Starship Troopers. I I don't think I've ever sat down and watched that movie. I only think I've oh watched it on God. TV. Oh my God. Well, are we going to have to watch it together? Because it is legitimately one of the best movies ever made. No, I'm good. It's incredibly good. Lots of fire. Wasn't there really? a Starship Troopers video game? Maybe. Oh, it did. It came out in 2005. Wow. Got a 3.8 out of 10 on GameSpot. Take a look at what it looks like. Oh my god, it looks like Halo. Does it? Oh, we should play that. Like the UI and everything. No, you're not allowed to play it until you see the movie. This looks... This looks... Pretty good. This this looks a lot like Halo. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah. Well, I think we have to play this. Uh oh. 
I know oh. we're still live. My chat went down. I'm coming back in, folks. Yeah, my chat went down as well. Bye, Sanic. Thanks so for I joining. Just have to reset it. Uh, I know the stream is still up. I'm not. I I restarted mine, so I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, mine didn't reconnect. Ooh, I don't think we are on YouTube. We're not on YouTube? No, no, the stream's live. Restream chat did not connect to YouTube. Gotcha. But it's okay, folks. I've still got you in the chat. Oh, what is this crap? Oh, no. Restream chat's going up and down. Yeah. Going for... What made me tiny? Hi, Goober. I'm a goofy Goober. Rock. Hi, Stickman Gamer. Thanks for joining. I can't see chat anymore. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna layer it on my side Alex said Twitch was being dumb for him Alex brother uh yes Alex Crispy <laughs> Alex Crispers <laughs> yes oh Emerald Miner asks if we had Toycon VR he made a VR level. Oh. Toycon, is that, is that what I think? Oh, it's the Labo toy. But you can make thing, right? Super Mario Maker 2 levels? Oh, in VR? Or unless there's other I think they just we don't. Kinda yeah, work. we don't have it, unfortunately. Do, 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 do. I just did that. How are you feeling, Will? Feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Playing Stickman tomorrow. Gamer has a level. I'm adding it to the list right now, buddy. Trying to find out if this Starship Troopers game has multiplayer. Better. Now. Oh, that's the end of the level. So there is there is a co-op like, mode. It's it's it feels like it's like a defend against the horde type of thing. But I'm totally worth totally willing to play that. I'll play it. B nine K. Alright, so I'm gonna go to Airtable and I'm gonna add Ian streams for what is this? I'm gonna restart my restream chat again to see. Okay. I I don't think it is. I had to pop mine out. I got it working and then it collapsed. Okay. Stickman says he likes the overlay. Oh, thank you. Took me a while, but I think it came out really well. I just wish other games can were conducive to having their own layout. But yeah. This is kind of the only one I could. I need to offer hundreds of fresh new trolls. Remember, trust nothing. Great. Nobody's beaten this level. I shall beat it.
You know, I I don't. Twitch is up, but I don't know if chat is up. Oh, Twitch chat's back up. Gosh darn it. I just have to go back through the door. Jump up, jump up to get down. You gotta start the timer. No, oh, thanks. I don't know why I forget to do that. How do you feel about going through this list of games and then calling it? List of levels. Yeah, that's fine. Ah! I'm trying to jump. Do I want. No, I do not like him. Tastes like gross. Oh, I keep forgetting to jump. I assume. And I've still been playing a lot more XCOM 2 with the War of the Chosen. I didn't jump. The game is real good. I just, uh, I know your I don't feelings like about on XCOM, XCOM but... Two is really I don't good. like the... I don't like the percentage. I think percentage is terrible. Um... Yeah, I'm just really not. Well a, I, I remember not really liking the controls on XCOM. I think mostly because I was playing with mouse and keyboard, and they're not. Are you playing mouse and keyboard or controller? Mouse and keyboard. I just remember it being. It felt like you were playing a console game with mouse and keyboard. No, I've never felt that. I've never played XCOM one, so I have no idea. Only played two. Um, I still am a hundred percent certain that you need to play. See, I the comb Mario the, plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. That part of an XCOM game is not what I like. Which part? Like the battle part. Like it's only like forty percent of it, maybe. But I like but naming all the you... people, working on them, like giving them all the certain yeah, stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you get that you get that a little bit with with Mario plus Rabbids because you're like you get like rabid luigi who's a sniper and then you like get him a custom sniper rifle and he becomes just like a domination machine you're just like right but I, like i get, named all my guys the characters off of my roommates and like design them no, no i understand what i'm saying is because of the character design and the weapon design and the customization in it you get attached to the characters even though it really is just mario and stuff yeah um and it's just fantastic it's it's the best turn-based strategy game i've played it's great what would you call that because uh, it's not really turn-based strategy is it? i forget what they're called yeah but it's definitely the best of those that i have played i really don't know what i'm supposed to do here i've just been this over and over again what happens if you go through the door well i can't no the door is what i come through you have to do this Oh, yeah, you're right, Stickman. Normal Luigi was the sniper. Um, but it's it's just really... Yeah, you have, like, Luigi set up, and he takes, like, two, like, Overwatch shots, and he just becomes a monster on the field. Like, people step out of cover, and he just takes them out immediately. He says, jump as high as you can as soon as you exit. Okay. So I was on... It just... 
That game, it, the way the combos start working and the really unique enemy design. I jumped. I gotta just jump immediately. Oh, that's right. Rabid Luigi was the one who could heal when he dashed to someone. It just became a very mobile game. I felt like XCOM is a lot of like two steps forward, high behind cover. And Mario is a lot of like pop out of cover, do like six crazy actions, and then end the turn behind cover. So when you really ranked up the guys, you could end up just going around and like taking out three enemies and doing a butt ton of damage and then end up yeah. behind cover. I think you should try too, because it's. It sound, it's let's, like pretty much everything you're talking about is what I do in two. So let's make a deal then. I try two, you try Mario plus Rabbids, because I, I have a copy you can borrow. Yeah, I, I don't think, I'm not against Mario plus Rabbids. I think that's time, by the way. Ugh. That's a toughie. I just, I hate confusing. Not confusing. But... Difficult? No, not difficult, because it's not, Challenging. I don't know what I have to do. That's the thing I don't like. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we should we should do that. Not necessarily for some pixel, but I like the idea of we are. It's almost like a book club in a way, but we're playing different games that have been assigned by the other person. Yeah, I don't necessarily want to do that because it's just going to turn into you hating all the games I give you to play. Yeah, but I think that's uh, so. There's a new series. Uh, Easy Allies has started a new series, um, called huber's prison of love and it's huber has games that he loves like uncharted 4 and stuff and he is forcing other people to sit down for an hour and play them with him while he's sitting there going come on man look at that that's such a good animation look at this character you know and he's like yeah. so enthusiastic about the game I, I definitely see what you're saying and i think in order for it to work i would have to restrain myself i think it's you give it an honest shot. And we set up a time threshold. Like you gotta you gotta play five hours of it. You know, or something like that. Oh. Crazy. Oops. Hey, great job. I guess I didn't do it close enough. Well, didn't you just stab him? No, I, I uh do a down Dash attack it. in it. Pushes him out of the way, but didn't push him all the way out of the way. Oh. Um, let me try starting over. Maybe I need to do it all the way from the top. Oh, uh, you gotta start the timer. Oh. Use well, shield. I was just about to say, use your shield. Oh. Shield again? Speedy, we need more help. There you go. Well, I don't know why they... Oh, I see what it's saying now. You were in motion? It's saying run forward and hold down. Oh, okay. up there. I thought it was saying go up there and do the dive. Gotcha. <gasps> That's oh, not no. fun. This looks like a fun level. It's not bad. I like the Zelda or the Link stuff. Oh. You know, maybe one of those streams. I'm just trying to think. There's basically three streams where you're gone, and it's going to be a solo stream. Maybe one of those streams, I if I have all my cables by then, I unhook all my hook up all my retro stuff and test it out not a bad idea i think that would be fun
Speedy, um, let me see if I saw your level code. Oh, you know what? I think. Speedy. Speedy, I did not see your level code. I think it may have been eaten by YouTube. If you want to put the level code. Oh, nope, I see it now. Yeah, make sure you're on all comments. Yeah. Oh, come on. I got man. it now. Thanks for the level. I love Litten. So much for uh, finish up these levels. I mean, if you want to keep going, we can keep going. No, oh, you had said that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so stupid. Let's talk about gaming news. Thanks for the sub, Litten. Um, so... I didn't get a sub note. Yeah, it's okay. So PS... Slight addendum, we talked about this previously on stream. PS5, the Xbox One Series... Sorry, Xbox Series X. Saying that for the first two years, Xbox Studios games are going to be multi-platform in terms of Xbox One and Series X. There was one point that I didn't think of, which is that there's one potential downside, which is games that are being built for both consoles may not be able to take full advantage of the Series X because they are held back by the last gen. Like some people say that happened with Destiny. And I could see that happening. But I don't think it's, I think that's just a risk you take. I don't think it's a huge downside. I also don't necessarily see that happen because they're already doing work for PC ports. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. And like the versions back when it was split, like Assassin's Creed 4 on 360 versus uh, Xbox One were different power wise anyways. Yeah, exactly. And and they they don't know the console that well. Developers don't know how to optimize the console that well early in the generation anyways. So I don't think there would be a massive difference between a game that is cross-platform and a game that is new next gen only. Good course. Um I love Litten is asking, what do you guys think of the Pokemon DLC? I do not play Pokemon, so I couldn't give a rat's behind. I think it's it's kind of interesting that people are... Um, hi, Luca. Hello, little J-Man. Uh, if you guys have a level you'd like to submit, go ahead and throw it in the chat. Uh, I'm um, on the next one already, by the way. So, so if I'm not mistaken, the controversy around this is that uh, basically... Previously... Pokemon has not really had DLC before. So previously they would just do new versions. So like Alpha Sun and Omega Moon, I think was one of them. So basically they would just release new versions of the same game, but with extra content in it. But now they are doing two $30 DLC packs. Actually, let me look that up. I want to make sure I get this right because I think a lot of people got it wrong. So uh, basically, this is their first time, or at least the first time doing major DLC. It costs thirty dollars. And it's two DLC packs. And it includes some Pokemon that were not in the original game because of Dexit. But you can still get those Pokemon if you don't buy the DLC by trading for them. Oh, that's cool. Or or using the Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Home System, or whatever it is. I think I think it's fine. I I just I never really understood why people would buy like they would have Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, and then people would buy the exact same game, but slightly uptuned. You know what I mean? What do you that mean? That never made any sense. So let me let me read some let me I'm looking up list of Pokemon games. You're saying why would you buy X and Y? Let me put it this way. Pokemon 2010. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
1996. Pokemon Red. Pokemon Green. Then they had Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Red and Blue. Then Pokemon Yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then they have um, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. And then Pokemon Emerald, which is just a director's cut version of, of Ruby and Sapphire. And then they have Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And then two years later, they release Pokemon Platinum, which is a director's cut version of Diamond and Pearl. And then they release 2010 Black and White. And then two years later, they release Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, which is the same world map but with some added locations. Gotcha. And then they have Pokemon Sun and Moon. 2016, 2017, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which are just director's cut version of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. So my point being, that was their system up to now, and I think it's a terrible system. <laughs> I mean, obviously it worked. It worked for them in terms of I mean, it worked because it money. sold. Every yeah. But for the fan, it's terrible, which is why it's surprising. Fans are upset that they're going to a DLC mode, a DLC model. But that's stupid because before they were selling you the same game twice. Well, they were selling you the same game four Three. times. Yeah, I was going to say. Three or four times, depending on the generation. So I think it's I think it perfectly makes sense. It's also thirty dollars for both. It makes sense. Uh, Love Lutton says he thinks the DLC is slightly overpriced. So I'm still trying to figure out what the exact price is. So this is expansion pass. It's thirty US dollars. It has two DLC packs that each add new environments, new Pokemon, and new clothing items. Thirty dollars is a bit high for DLC. I'm curious to see if that if that does have enough content to justify it. Yeah, that's like season pass. Price. What's your uh Hi Loop and Snoop? Um we don't have an automated list system, we just have the list on the side of the screen. To the left of the stream. No. Oh. He says maybe run from Speedy. That's what I was I've been running. Just I uh, it's not you know, you know how you get that like jump off an enemy? Yeah. I'm like oh yeah, I got that. But I'm not like, not giving me the jump, but I think it's because I'm not moving. Okay, last try. Oh, I forgot to like it. I'm sorry. Next up, we've got Stickman Gamer. Um, what is your DLC price? What do you think is a good price for DLC? And it could be several different levels, depending on how much content, but what do you think is a price... Is a good price for you. Um, I don't know, like fifteen bucks, probably. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Like one yeah. dry bones to defeat. This isn't hard, right? Gonna Have you purchased DLC before? Like, like as in you already own the game, and then you are specifically purchasing DLC as opposed to getting, you know, a collector's edition afterwards or whatever. Yeah. Hundred percent. What have you purchased? Uh. Pretty much all the Destiny 2 DLC. Don't I forget bought. the timer. Thank you. Yeah, Destiny 2 Destiny DLC is it's typically what 30 bucks for two expansion packs. Uh I uh, Yeah, I think I think it's 20 bucks individual but 30 for two. I think for yeah. Destiny 2 at least. <laughs> and those typically include one new area per and then a typically what four or five hour campaign if that yeah typically less than that right like three three hours worth of campaign content probably and a lot of like random stuff yeah so i think 15 sounds good for that yeah well yeah that was third 40 for shadow keep yeah but really it's touched. no but that but that oh but 40, that's that's the that's the pass, right? That gets you a year of content for Shadow Keep. I think so. I really don't remember. Because I, I know Destiny 2, the first two were bundled together for $30 or $20 each. I think that's a good one. What, what other games have you bought uh, DLC uh, for? I bought the Halo 2 map pack on disc when that came out. 
Oh man, I hated that so much. What, I... the maps or the system? No, I hate uh, the system in terms of you are going to segment your multiplayer base by adding DLC maps. Thankfully, a lot of games have moved away from that because they realize how bad it is. But I always hated that model. Because I like I would play Battlefield, like Battlefield 2 or all the way up from there, where I would be loving the game, the base game, playing it online. But as soon as a DLC came out or an expansion pack, if I didn't buy it, the multiplayer base just dried up for me because everybody's playing the new stuff. And that sucked. Oh, time up. Yeah, it really depends for me. Like I Halo just I think it's a bad like, model to, to segment your multiplayer local, base. So. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes it sense. It doesn't really matter. I'm trying to think of other DLC, but what's your worst piece of DLC, as in your biggest DLC regret? Um, biggest DLC regret. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta think of games I bought DLC for. for. I, I've got mine. I, I think this technically counts. Stickman says you need to lead one of the bills to hit the dry bones. Oh, got you. Thank you. Um, I think this counts even though it was technically its own game. S uh, Civ uh, Civilization Five Beyond Earth. So, oh, yeah, I that's bought its that. Own game. It's its own game, but it was it's like an expansion pack in a way, like a standalone expansion pack. And it's it's not good. It's it just feels like it just feels like a total conversion mod, you know. That yeah. one I really hate it because I bought that the day it came out and I played it a bunch that weekend and I was like, yeah, I got it for like Christmas and I touched it and I was like, Neh. yeah, not good. I don't buy a whole lot of DLC because I, a lot of DLC nowadays is is custom is a uh, cosmetic and I don't really care about that. Yeah, I used to. Trying to, like DLC, I have bought like I bought Skyrim DLC and Oblivion DLC, and then um, I love Litton says uh, you're talking about pricing. For example, if Mario Maker Two DLC that added a new game style and a bunch more items, then he'd be willing to pay fifteen to twenty dollars for that. Yeah. I could see that. About the Zelda, the Breath of the Wild DLC. I did too, but I didn't. I don't think that was a good DLC format because it kind of. Did you play it? Uh, I played it a little bit. I have still not beat Breath of the Wild. I need to go back. Did you? Did you do the four? I did. I forgot to call four beasts. Because I, I would say. You could beat that game pretty easily because Ganon's actually not that hard. Yeah, I, I know all the all that stuff, but I've just never gone to Ganon or anything. Um, I was playing it while I was moving, so I've never finished it. I died. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, yeah, I was I like my... talking while playing that, so I really wasn't focusing. Yeah, that's not a good excuse. Um, the <laughs> the um. The Breath of the Wild DLC, like that whole bastard quest or whatever, is just... I feel like it was too endgame. Because I had already beaten that game. I came back to it and I tried to do the Master Quest stuff. And like I was so far out of that game that I was struggling with it. Yeah. And then I just put it down. I think it should have been... I think there should have been a slightly more of an introduction. They should have understood that most people are coming back to this game for the first time in 6, 9, 12 months. You know? Yeah. Stickman oh, has a good point. He says DLCs are better than buying stuff like loot boxes and stuff like that. 100%. Uh, start the timer. Yeah, I 100% agree with that, Stickman. Loot boxes are a plague on the industry. Was there Super Mario Odyssey DLC? I don't think there... Oh, no. I'm looking it up. Oh, there's Balloon World. Luigi's Balloon World, which was a free update. 
New filters for photo mode, three new outfits, and a mini game that's composed of two parts. Hide it and find it, and then there's Balloon World. You have to hide balloons. And then find balloons. Yeah, so it had just kind of a weird little DLC mode. Oh. <sighs> I remember liking, even though I didn't, even though it led to like multiplayer separation, like I was talking about where it separates the player base between DLC and non-DLC. I remember really liking the Battlefield 2 DLC stuff because they would add like brand new weapons, brand new factions, brand new levels that felt drastically different. Yeah. Like it really, it felt like it wasn't like they were adding content to the game in the same vein. They were adding stuff to the side of the game, you know? They were expanding oh, it. Keep hitting that. So instead of just, hey, this is two new maps, it's like, this is two new maps with new factions and new weapons for them. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to remember DLC that I bought. Yeah, I was going to say just, Fallout, I bought the DLC, Fallout 3, I bought the DLC for... I think I did as well for that, and I was pretty disappointed with almost all of the Fallout 3 DLC. I really liked uh, The Pit, was good. Oh, I didn't I didn't play The Pit, but I did play, there was the, the, the one where it's just a, the entire thing is a simulation flashback of the war with oh, China. Oh yeah, that one was... Stupid. That one was cool because you got to see that stuff, but it wasn't. There wasn't enough. Stickman says he has friends which have spent one thousand euros in Fortnite. Jeez, that's that's too much, man. That's way too much. I still haven't played Fortnite. Like I've played a lot of Overwatch and I enjoy that game. I have not bought a single crate. Gosh. Don't... I did buy um. Tribes Ascend was fantastic, so I did pay like 30 bucks. I, uh, a coworker of mine, I was talking to him about this, and he was playing free-to-play games like Path of Exile and stuff, and Elder Scrolls Online, and he was like, he was talking about how he's a premium member and how he's fine with that because the game is free and he enjoys it enough that he wants to support the developer. Yeah. So even though the premium mode for $10 a month may not be good, it's basically the only way that he can support the developer because the game is free. Yeah. So he, oh, so he does uh, it. Anyways. World of Warcraft expansion. I've paid for. Yeah. Those are big deals. Those are big deals. I feel like those add a lot. 1,000 euros is like. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'll look it up real quick. I forgot the conversion. I had to do it when I was in Germany a couple months ago. It's $1,100. Oh, so 1,000 euros is $1,100. I should look up. 1 pound is $1.30. No! I'm gonna give it one more shot. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other DLC. Oh. Or even just like, uh, what about um, you bought into any, um, oh man, what are they called now? Oh, Brink DLC pass. I paid for. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Last level Last here. Last level. Um, what's it called? Not a season pass. You know what I'm talking about? Season pass. Oh, why? No, it's the new method of it. Like Apex has it, Dota has battle it. Battle pass. Battle pass. Have you bought any battle passes? No. Oh, you bought Apex, didn't you? No. I, I think it was Zach. F. No, I bought. I bought coins to buy a player. Yeah, but that's. I. I would consider that. I mean, no, it's not the battle pass, but I'm just trying to think of expansion content in a way yeah i wouldn't consider uh, i mean i guess i would but i consider don't forget the like timer stuff. um i did buy i so like i don't know four or five months ago 
Litten says this took four days to make, so oh, I love it already. So it's aesthetic good. is good. This looks good. You are 100% going to have to give some tips. Um, were you supposed to do that? Maybe what? he pops the balloons. Oh, you destroy it and then you go back up. Oh, I'm just having fun. Um, try going back up. I don't think I can. I just want to shoot. Yeah, there's that key. Oh, Stickman points out a good thing. Mario Kart Tour, which I believe is the mobile game, how they are basically releasing characters as DLC, but they're like mainline characters. I think I think we're going to need a little bit of help here, Litton. Why do we need help? Because you don't know what you're doing. What do you mean I don't know what I'm doing? I'm messing around with the level. I just got a one up. And I'm climbing up here. These 30 coins. I'm going to murder this guy. Um, snake boy. Oh, I forget what. Oh, so a couple months ago, I'm going to say four or five months ago, I found myself playing a lot of Rocket League for like a couple weeks. And because I was playing it a lot, I was like, OK, well, let me go ahead and buy the uh, battle pass. And it was kind of nice because like I knew I was only going to play it for a couple of weeks, but I was going to play it a lot. And I was like, well, let me at least level up the bat, at least buy the battle pass for like eight, ten dollars. And while I'm playing a lot, I'll get a lot of um, content in addition. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that was a nice way. It's kind of like viewing a battle pass like that, where it's like, if you know you're going to be playing this game a lot, just throw a little money on top. And that way you're going to be, it's like an XP doubler in a way. It's like, you know, you're going to be playing it anyway. So you might as well get more for your effort. Murdered. But but I think that's the only battle pass I've bought. I'm not opposed to a battle pass. I think it's not too bad of an idea. Yeah. There's just not a game that I play a whole lot of continuously. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks. Oh, no. Stickman's talking about all the loot boxes and sketchy transaction stuff in Mario Kart Tour. Is that by Nintendo or is it just a company using Nintendo stuff? No, no. I mean, it's Nintendo approved. I don't know that Nintendo developed it internally. I can look it up, but it is. It is no, up there I with Fire Emblem I, like, I know and Animal approved. Crossing Parkit. Yeah. But I, I don't think that matters, honestly. I mean, sometimes it does. It's developed by oh. Nintendo. The EAD. D -E -N -A. Oh, not EAD. Yeah, they, they do a lot of their stuff. That Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I believe, was DENA as well. Not. Oh, this shows the developer is... Nintendo EPD. So this, this shows it as an in-house development. Is EPD in the house? I thought only the EADs. No, Nintendo EPD means Entertainment Planning and Development Division. It's the largest division within the Japanese video game company. They focus on developing and producing video games, mobile apps, and other related entertainment software. Let's see what other games they've developed. They did Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Terrible. They did uh, Twilight Princess HD. Yeah, Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard. Oh, they have not done good stuff. You just gotta check which uh, internal group it is. No, but that's... At least this Wikipedia page doesn't say internal yeah, group. But it's there's Nintendo six, EPD. EPD has six groups. Including the Mario team, the, the... All that stuff. I was updating the wiki page on Giant Bomb like a week ago. The only reason I know. Yeah, I'm not getting enough information from this. 
Mario one. This is the predecessor is EAD and SPD. Oh, I think they've all merged into oh. EPD as of 2015. Wasn't supposed to go down. Th this says EPD no. was the predecessor was EAD and SPD. Okay, that's what I was talking about, EAD. No, but my point is I think they've all consolidated now. Right, but there's still six teams that work on games inside of EAD. Like, one is headed up by the guy who makes all the Zelda games. One is headed up by the guy who started Animal Crossing. Yeah, I could, I could see that. I'm just not seeing that within this Wikipedia article. Yeah, this Wikipedia cool. article is talking about how it... SPD merged with EAD in 2015. So, I mean, they probably still have separate teams, but I think that the nomenclature is gone. Uh, Litton is asking what you think of the level. I really I like think it. it's got it's got a lot of good, good design on it. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going next. He said pipe is a oh, secret so area. Oh, this is a secret area. Gotcha. So it's optional. I'll give it one more try, and then uh, we're going to call it it's for tonight. For yeah, tonight. I'm going to give the quick pitch. We are Subpixel. We're at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you to our YouTube channel. That's where most of our content is. Um, we do a lot of edited videos, like documentaries, feature videos. Uh, we've got some stuff up on Dwarf Fortress and video game cover art and classics like uh, Rihanna Rouge and Captain Bible, all sorts of crazy videos. We do streams every Tuesday, Thursday night at 9 p.m. on YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. Twitch and Mixer's Subpixel team, um, same as YouTube. Um, we also do one-off streams, like this is a Lazy Sunday stream. Yesterday we streamed iRacing, a, a sim racing game for a couple hours. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Subpixel team. If you enjoyed this content, and I know you did, then you should definitely follow us on all of those platforms, all six of them, or at least one, or you know what? Just give us a thumbs up or a like or a comment on this video. That tells us that this content is worth making because you enjoyed it. And it also tells YouTube that this content is worth showing to other people because you liked it and enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's finish this stream out by watching Will fail to complete yet another level. Actually, you're, you're doing pretty good. Thanks. You're always so confident. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to get risky. Oh, why don't you just do the bomb? Oh. Hey! Nailed it. That's the perfect way to end the stream, folks. Boom. Well, folks, thank you for watching. I've been Will. Wow, I just saw my huge face on the screen. I'm Will. That's Ian. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching the Umbrella stream. This has been Subpixel. This has been Mario Maker. I might be streaming tomorrow, but I'm not sure yet, so don't even come at me. It'll be more Acronox. Anacronox, or whatever it's called. Anyways. Bye. Bye, Ian. Bye.